a misty moody morning here and I've got a short day ahead of myself so I thought I might take a little moment out to do a video that talks about how to prepare your body your fitness to do the GPT I've done a video that looked at all the gear in my pack so that's sort of the equipment you're going to need to get yourself set up and ready to go because it all comes down to enjoying and not enduring the track and making sure that your body is in a good way for you to do that oh, is such a great recipe for having the best and most incredible GPT experience you can imagine. So the fitness that you need to do this type of walking, bushwalking, hiking fitness and importantly pack carrying fitness isn't about the kind of fitness you get at an hour in the gym by doing weights. It's aerobic exercise. It's that stuff, that cardio kind of fitness. So the best way to get yourself fit for doing hiking, for doing multi-day pack carrying kind of trips is doing pack carrying. So depending what your base level of fitness is, you might need to start three months out, two months out, a month out, or just a couple of weeks if you just need to top up your fitness bank. And if you feel like you've got a long way to go to get to that point where a grade four and a grade five track is going to feel achievable for you, start small. So start with, you know, a couple of hours a day, half day walks or full day walks and start building up the weight in your pack as you go. Endurance is another really big part of this. We might go to the gym or go and do short walks around the block or do whatever exercise we do in our daily life. We might do it for an hour, two hours, maybe three hours, two or three times a week. But this kind of trip, this means you're actually walking on your feet, moving your body up and down, big ascents and descents for five, six, seven, eight, nine hours at a time. So this is about endurance, it's about cardio, and it's also about core strength, because your core strength is what's gonna give you that help with your stability, moving over that uneven and awkward terrain, as well as helping you keep your pack, feeling good on your body, feeling strong, and letting your whole biomechanical processes just power you through this trip. Another part of fitness to look at for preparing your body for the track is to look at your feet. Not just, you know, how you can toughen up the skin on your feet, make sure your boots or your shoes are really well worn in so you're not going to get blisters, but to look at a thing called proprioception. Now, I am not a physio, I am not an osteo, I'm not in any kind of a medical science allied health professional, but do, if you have those in your life, consult them before you go because they're probably going to give you some great advice and exercises for things like proprioception. So that's this connection between your feet and your brain and how your body adjusts and your knees and your hips. Everything works together to keep yourself and your body upright so you don't take a tumble or roll ankles, that kind of thing. It feels like probably 80% of the track is off camber. So what an off camber track means is instead of walking like this on a flat surface, you're actually having to walk like this. Your foot is sliding inside your shoe quite often, just those minuscule amounts, which can create hot spots and blisters for your feet. So make sure as part of your training in that lead up to the trip, Take yourself out and make yourself move around on uneven ground because that getting your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips, that proprioception connection working and your core, thinking about that off camber kind of walking with your foot and underweight with a backpack is really going to help you out there. Let me put this back on again. Here's the other thing, up and down, my goodness, the Grampians peaks trail is about peaks. This is about going up and over many, many peaks along a ridge line. It's up and down all the time, every day. So the other big way to build your cardio fitness, to build your pack weight fitness, and to build your endurance 
is to make sure that you're getting out also on incline and decline. So we've got cardio, we've got endurance, we've got pack carrying, we've got core strength training and that training with your feet, that thinking about proprioception and working on uneven ground and with that feet too, make sure that your shoes are absolutely as comfortable as a Jason Rocker recliner and that they're well worn in, they're not brand new out of the box. You've been training in these shoes, so when you get out here on the track, you are gonna have an absolute cracking time.